Have you ever felt an instant good or bad vibe, maybe, from an individual around you or a place you're in or a specific tune or anything in your surroundings? These vibes are not just a random feeling. They are actually vibrations, which hold the secrets and the mysteries of the universe. They are a hidden language anguage that speaks directly to your soul, giving you access to a deeper sense of consciousness. Understanding these vibrations can help you unveil the very fabric of your existence, which can completely turn around the way you live and act on your path towards spiritual awakening today. Let us delve into the mysteries of vibrations and unlock the secrets of the universe. So keep watching. The concept of vibrations holds profound significance in both the physical realm and the spiritual realm that is, because everything in the universe, from the smallest of ourselves to the tallest of buildings, everything vibrates at a specific frequency. In fact, even our thoughts, our emotions, and our behavior vibrate at their own frequencies in the words of Michael Bernard Beckwith, the universe is not. Outside of us, it's inside of us. We are all vibrating at different frequencies. And that's what creates our experience indeed. All of us are vibrating at our own frequency. Our physical bodies have their own frequency. Our emotional and mental states have their own frequency. Our behaviors have their own frequency. All these frequencies associated with our existence directly let us create and change our reality and our existence. But before we delve into the profound significance of vibrations in the SP, spiritual realm, and in our spiritual journey, it is important that we first explore the science behind vibrations. If we look from a scientific perspective, vibrations are a periodic oscillation of particles within any medium in the world of physics. Vibrations can be observed. Obed in different waves like sound waves and light waves or even in the movements of atoms and molecules inside any medium or any object. All these waves or particles are vibrating at their own frequency. And in the words of Albert Einstein, everything in life is vibration indeed. Every object around us has its own particles and all its particles are constantly vibrating at their own unique frequencies. But when Einstein says that everything in, in your life is a vibration, this transcends mere physical particles. In fact, this concept becomes a bridge between the physical and the spiritual realms. That is because this concept highlights the fact that vibrations are not just a mechanical phenomena to be observed by scientists or physicists. Rather, vibrations are the very core of our whole existence and have an immense impact on our WH whole existence at this point, you'll surely be wondering, how exactly do these vibrations work? And more importantly, how exactly does our frequency help us attract our desired reality to understand that we need to understand the scientific principle of resonance? This concept of resonance occurs when an object vibrating at a certain frequency causes another object to vibrate at its frequency as well. An important concept to understand here is that all, all your thoughts, emotions, and actions have vibrational frequencies associated with them. Because, A, of these vibrations, all humans create an energy field around themselves, which is referred to as their aura. Understanding how the energy field around us works and influences our reality is crucial in your spiritual journey, as it makes you understand how you can use your personal vibrational frequency of your energy field to res, resonate with the frequencies around you and influence them to manifest the reality you want, just like that. These frequencies around you also resonate with your frequency and have an influence on your frequencies. So in your S. Spiritual journey, it is important that we understand the different types of vibrational frequencies and understand which ones you should adopt and which ones you should avoid. For instance, when we embody positive thoughts and emotions, like love, gratitude, kindness, and compassion, we raise our vibrational frequency. But on the other hand, when we dwell on negative states like anger, fear, jealousy, or stress, we end up lowering our vibrational frequency. Both high vibrations and low vibrations have a significant impact on your spiritual journey, and it is crucial that we understand them fully. So now let us delve into how high vibrations become a path to our spiritual fulfillment and how we can recognize and overcome low vibrations to stay on our path. 
First, let us explore high vibrations and how they become a direct pathway to our spiritual fulfillment and personal transformation in the words of Wayne Dye. The higher your vibration, the more you'll be able to tap into the universal flow of, of abundance and manifest your desires. Indeed, when you become an embodiment of high vibrational frequencies, you start to attract positive experiences and positive people into your life. You align yourself and your life with the universe and your true purpose, which brings about abundance, love, and blessings into your life. Moreover, when you embody higher vibrations, you get to see the world from a higher perspective, which opens you up to new possibilities, opportunities, and experiences. This helps you not only foster passion and creativity in your life, but also lets you align yourself with your higher self and align yourself with your true purpose. Because of that high vibrations, dire, CTLE foster spiritual growth and enlightenment in your life and directly lead you in your spiritual awakening journey. Like we mentioned earlier, all your thoughts, feelings, and emotions have their own vibrations, positive feelings of joy, peace, kindness, love, and enlightenment are directly associated with high vibrations when your emotional state reflects these positive feelings. You start to reflect higher vibrational frequencies that align with the spiritual realm and directly lead you in your path of spiritual awakening in the word words of the A. Thor Sonia Shocket, the higher your vibration, the more you'll be able to connect with your inner guidance, with your intuition, and with your higher self indeed. When we consistently stay in a state of high vibrations, we experience a sense of connection with our inner self and the divine energy within us, which provides us with a sense of inner peace and clarity in our spiritual journey and personal transformation. Now that we understand just how much significance high vibrations hold in our spiritual journey, it is important to understand how we can elevate our vibrations and stay in a high vibrational state at all times. So, now let us explore some practices you can engage in that will help you raise your vibrations first. And most important is the practice of meditation. This involves quieting down your mind of any worldly chatter and sitting in silence and putting your focus entirely on connecting with the divine energy within you and around you in the universe. This helps you calm down your mind and align your inner energy with higher vibrational frequencies other than meditation to stay in a state of high vibration. Yes, it is important to practice gratitude. This involves actively focusing on the blessings in your life. Even if it's as tiny of a blessing as a cup of tea on a cold morning that makes you feel calm and peaceful. The best way to practice gratitude is to keep a gratitude journal or regularly make a list of things you're grateful for, either in your mind or by writing them down. When you regularly practice gratitude, it helps you focus on what you are thankful for rather than what you lack which shifts your energy towards positivity and elevates your vibrate. Ion's another important practice to raise your vibrations is the act of mindfulness. This involves being present in every moment and embracing every moment with openness and curiosity instead of constantly focusing on the regrets of the past or the anxieties of the future. This makes you quiet down the noise and chatter of the trials of life and instead focus on your inner self and your own beliefs and emotions. This makes you feel aligned with your higher self and provides you a sense of confidence and clarity in life, thus maintaining a high vibrational state L. Asked but definitely not the least practicing acts of kindness for. Others also raises your vibrational state. The words of Dr. Wayne Dyer explains this perfectly. The more you focus on kindness, the higher your vibration will rise. You'll start to attract more love, more abundance, and more joy into your life. Indeed, when you help others and cultivate kindness, you naturally attract positivity into your own life as well. Thus raising your vibrations, while we try to raise our vibrations and vibrate at the highest frequencies possible. It is also important that we actively recognize and overcome any low vibrations within us or around us these low vibrations are linked to negative emotions. Specifically, anger, sadness, fear, bitterness, and resentment. 
When you're constantly in negative states like these, it reflects a lower frequency that can lead to a huge hurdle in your spiritual journey as you feel disconnected, confused, and lost in the words of Ert. Toler low vibrations are like a veil that covers your eyes, preventing you from seeing the truth and the beauty of the world. Indeed, when you get stuck in the shackles of low V, brations you feel disconnected from the universe, you don't get to see the blessings and the opportunities life gives you. You feel hopeless, and all this leads to your spiritual essence being fully distorted. Because of these adverse impacts, it is crucial that in your spiritual journey, you avoid and overcome these low vibrations-ations, and the first step of overcoming these low vibrations is recognizing the sources that might be lowering your vibrations. The most common and important factor that can directly lower your vibrations is negative thoughts, and emotions in particular fear and anxiety if you're constantly focusing on the worst and dwelling on your setbacks or constantly worrying and panicking. You end up becoming an embodiment of negative emotions, which significantly lowers your vibrations. Other than your emotions, your lifestyle also has a huge impact on your vibrations. This includes your diet, sleep cycle, and physical activity. And if you lead an unhealthy lifestyle, your vibrations are lowered, just like everything has its own vibration. So does the food you consume healthy and orge. Nick foods have a higher vibration associated with them, while unhealthy, oily, and fatty foods have a lower vibration. Because of that, your diet has a direct effect on your vibrations, and if you have a poor diet, your vibrations are lowered, other than your diet. A lack of exercise and inadequate sleep also have a direct impact on your vibrations and significantly lower them, but other than your own personal choices, even your surroundings can contribute to lowering your vibrations, especially the, the people you surround yourself with. In the words of Mike Dealey, when you're around people who are operating at a low vibration, it's like being in a room filled with toxic fumes. It's hard to breathe and it's hard to stay positive. The frequencies around you directly resonate with and influence your own frequency as well. So if you're constantly around negative people or surrounded in negative situations, it drags your energy down. Now that we know the sources that lead to low vibrations, let us learn how we can overcome these low vibrations. The most important practice when raising your vibrations from low to high is through the act of positive thinking as humans, we all have negative thoughts and emotions at times. But in our spiritual journey, it is important that we make an active effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive ones, so we don't let them low our vibrations. A great way to replace negative thoughts with positive ones is through positive affirmations, which means reminding yourself of your potential, either by writing affirmations down or by saying them out loud. Moreover, to avoid low vibrations taking over, it is important that we always prior. I ties our physical health to keep our vibrations high. We need to eat nutritious foods, like fruits, vegetable vegetables, or organic foods that are directly associated with high vibrations other than our diet. It is also important that we make exercise a regular habit and get enough rest and sleep at least seven hours a day to maintain a state of high vibrations. Also, it's important that we surround ourselves with positive energy when we're around uplifting people or surrounded with positive environments, our vibrations in turn get higher. But if we do end up saint uck in a negative environment, it is important that we maintain healthy boundaries and don't get too attached, and don't let our vibrations be affected by our environment. Most importantly, to maintain a consistent, high vibrational state. It is crucial to engage in spiritual practices regularly, like meditation, prayer, or yoga. When you engage in spiritual activities, it allows you to quiet down the noises of the world and develop a connection with your higher self, thus helping you maintain high vibrations. Remember, overcoming low vibrations requires a conscious FO, RT from your end, but in your spiritual journey it is crucial that you recognize and overcome them fully. Now that we understand how our own vibrations work, it is important to understand the fact that all vibrations are interconnected, 
That means the vibrations within us directly connect us to the vibrations around us in the words of David R. Hawkins. Every thought, action, decision, or feeling creates an eddy in the interlocking, interbalancing, ever-moving energy fields of life when nothing exists in isolation. Indeed, nothing in the universe is isola. Ted, everything in the universe is connected through vibration. This vast interconnectedness means that your personal vibrations don't only affect your own life, but they create a ripple effect or an eddy, as Hawkins said, which necessarily means that your personal vibrations also influence the world around you. Think of it like throwing a stone into a pond. The stone doesn't only affect the point where it is thrown. Rather, the ripples from the contact of the stone spread out and touch every molecule of water in the pond, and sometimes even affect the environment sea. Arounding the pond in a similar way, your vibrations are the stone and the universe around you is the pond. That's why your personal vibrations have a ripple effect on the world and influence the people events and experiences that come into your life. This concept is the very core of one the most important spiritual laws, which is the law of attraction. In the simplest of terms, this law states that, like attracts, like in terms of vibrations, this suggests that our personal vibrational frequency attracts a reality that resonates at a similar frequency. All our the a aughts, emotions, beliefs, and actions emit a specific vibration, which then interacts with the vibrations of the universe and draws similar energies towards us, this means if we vibrate at a higher frequency, we attract positive experiences. But if we vibrate at a lower frequency, we attract negative experiences in our life. In the words of Abraham Hicks, the law of attraction is the law of creation. You create your own reality through your thoughts, feelings, and vibrations. Indeed, the law of attraction is not a mere co-coincidence, but it is a natural conseil quence of your own energy and your inner self. And this law is the fundamental core of manifestation in the spiritual realm. So if you intentionally raise your vibrational frequencies, you can attract any positive experiences you desire. And in fact, you even attract people in circumstances that will align you with your highest good, thus manifesting a life of purpose and in spiritual and personal fulfillment also. When we understand the complete concept of vibrations and realize how the whole universe is interconnected through them, it makes us realize our unity and oneness with all of existence, Ert Toller explained this concept in his words, The universe is not a collection of separate things, but a continuum of vibrating energy. Indeed, we are not an isolated being. Rather, we are a part of a vast, vibrating network of energy flowing throughout the universe. This means we are directly connected to every other being, thing, and experience in the universe. Our vibrations are constantly interacting with the vibrations of other individuals and everything in the universe. And this continuous interaction is what shapes our reality and the world we live in when we fully understand and embrace this interconnection. It makes us realize our unity with the universe, which helps us foster a sense of empathy and compassion with the universe around us. An important concept in the world of vibrations is the concept of collective vibrations, which refers to the collective vibrational state of all humans. This concept suggests that the collective vibrational state of humanity as a whole can have a major impact on global consciousness. This means when large groups of people calm, E together and focus their energy, emotions, intentions, and actions towards positivity. They can create a collective vibrational frequency of positive energy that can raise the energy of the overall planet. This can lead to significant changes and improvements in the whole society, which often manifests as an increased sense of cooperation, understanding, and harmony among communities, individuals, and even nations. But on the other hand, there is also a dark side to this concept of collective vibrations that is when negative emotions like fear, anger, or anxiety, s, spread widely the collective vibrations of humanity can drastically drop, which manifests in negative experiences like conflict, unrest, and chaos. These lowered vibrations can have destructive effects on the society and the world giving birth to cycles of violence, 
inequality, and suffering, which makes it pretty much impossible to create positive changes in the society. We often dismiss this concept of collective vibrations as a mere theoretical concept, but it is way more than just that. It has real-world implications. For instance, let's talk about real world. D examples, imagine if there is a time of global or, or national crisis. It could be wars, natural disasters, or an economic downturn. In critical and negative situations like these, the vibrations of humanity can significantly drop, which leads to a greater sense of fear and anxiety. But on the other hand, Imagine a time of global or national celebration, such as a festival, a historical event, or a major sporting event. In times like this, the eye vibration of humanity significantly elevates, thus creating a sense of unity and joy within different individuals and de-communities when you raise your individual energy through positive thoughts, emotions, actions, and words. You end up creating a ripple effect of positivity that spreads far and wide by doing so. You become a part of the whole global consciousness and shape not just your destiny, but the SSS destiny of all of humanity. Of course, your individual vibrations have a profound impact on the universe, but it is even better if you attract more individuals towards your high vibrations and come together as a community that focuses its entire energy field on positive CI. Hang by doing this, we can create a large, collective force that is far greater than one's individual energy. Thus we can create a critical energy field of high vibrations throughout the world, leading to significant positive transformations in the world. This ultimately raises the vibrational frequency of the whole of humanity, which ultimately lets us manifest a more peaceful and harmonious future for all. In conclusion, when we delve into the secret spiritual meaning of vibrations, it reveals a significant and profound truth about our existence, hence in the universe. It reveals that everything in the universe is a being of energy, which is constantly vibrating at its own frequency and interacting with the frequencies of the universe around them. Our thoughts, our emotions, and our behavior all have their own vibrational frequencies. And when we understand and harness the power of these vibrations, we can significantly elevate our spiritual journey, foster a deeper connection, action to the universe, and create a reality with a sense of inner peace, harmony, and fulfillment when we align ourselves with high vibrations and overcome low vibrations. We not only attract positive experiences in our life, but also create a ripple effect of positivity in the universe around us, thus impacting the collective vibrations of humanity and transforming the world with positivity. So take this, this video as a sign to embark on the journey of actively aligning yourself with high frequencies and let them take you on the path of finding enlightenment, peace, and healing.